Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. So I did decide to do one more tutorial uh, before Christmas. I thought this was a nice and easy one. Uh, I got inspired by a lady named uh, Lady J's Custom Design. She did a Christmas uh, carousel. I want to do something similar. She just inspired me with her design. So we're going to start with a floral form from DT. You're going to poke some holes on either side, almost like a clock, 12, 3, 6, and 9. Maybe do a ruler when you do yours. As you can see that um, when I did mine, I was off a little bit. Now, instead of using the thinner ones, I was going to use them. Just They're just a little bit bendable because we are going to stack something on top of that. Uh, I just thought I wanted something a little bit bigger. That was just my... Uh, my idea that I wanted to do. So you just make sure they all, don't poke them right through, just poke them in a little bit and we'll glue that on after. Um, inside the carousel right here, we are gonna fill this spot in. We're gonna take one of the canvases, the circular canvas from DT, and we're just gonna glue it right like this. And the reasons I did the holes first is just because I'm going to paint it, but I wanted to make sure that the holes were shown that I could just paint around the inside of the holes. So we're going to just put it exactly like that. And then we're going to glue this right on top and then we're going to paint it white. Once we're done that, I will come back and we'll move on to the next step. Now while the base is drying, we're actually going to do the exact same thing again. So you're going to need two, but this is going to be for the middle or the top part of the carousel. Now I found when I was using just the hot glue is dabbing like four corners, centering it right away. And you don't want to make sure that your hot, your glue gun is not like a high temperature because it will it will burn part of the floral form. And then what I did was I'm not going to touch it cuz it's still drying is I'm just going to go in here extra with the glue gun and press it down to make sure that it's sealed properly. All right, now that I got them both painted, I did uh, two coats on each of them. And I also did on the inside as well. So the next thing we're going to do is the skewers. Now I did cut them. Now it just depends how much you poke in the hole down on both sides. These are 8.75 inches tall. Now being specific and you'll have to that's my measurements you're all obviously going to use the same thing it just depends how much you just got to watch because i know when i was poking it through it uh it made a little boo-boo there but i'm just going to fill it in with uh hot glue once i and you're not going to see it after anyways now we're going to take the wood dowels here and we're going to paint them with mod podge and just some glitter when you have why i say these are specific is you can get these little jars from um these candle jars they're the same ones that have all the religious and some of them are not religious but they have the um, the plastic wrap on them and full of the candle but now dt has come out with them empty you could use it if it has a candle if you can't find the empty ones you're not going to see it anyways you're going to take some mod podge and you're going to coat it with silver glitter and I've already done it. I have to do another, I just have to seal it again with the Mod Podge. So I do have one here and you're just gonna hot glue it down. Actually, I'll probably just gonna use some Wellbond. I'm not, just because it's a heavier piece and you're gonna wanna put it center on the bottom one. Once you have these with the silver and, uh, when you paint it with uh, the Mod Podge and glitter and they're dry, you're gonna stick them in the holes. Now, before you stick them in the holes, I'm just gonna show you here. I'm gonna stick a little bit of Well Bond right in the hole, st stick it in, and I'm just gonna use some hot glue, but I'm gonna wait till I put the top on before I do the hot glue. So you're gonna get them all there. So this one's gonna move because that one little, little boo-boo is there you're going to take the top part and you're going to flip it over so you're going to have the open the little shelf on the inside so once it already 
and I've already did this off camera to make sure that you just have to make sure that the top part actually sits right on top of the the jar underneath I'm just gonna show you here let me switch the camera one sec all right so now that I already did the dowels with the uh, silver glitter on it like I said earlier I put the well bond in the holes on both sides and when you put it on you just don't put the glue in until you make sure that it's flush to the cylinder in the top right here that the lip sits nicely on top and that it's even on each side and you're happy with it so I'm not going to touch it now but what I want to do while this is drying I will leave it overnight I do want to add some stuff and I do want to hide the um, the lip of the canvas here on the bottom so what we're going to do now this is optional I want to put some Christmas trees in there because we're going to do the reindeers hanging on the carousel but we want to do some Christmas trees now I have a couple here I tried to go to DT today and they had none left, so I have one a little bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. Um, and because the reindeers are going to hang on the side here, we're going to do it opposite, kind of like 12, 12, 3, 6, and 9. They're a little bit different sizes. I'm going to glue those down just like that. I'm going to do the opposite with the smaller ones. I might do the smaller ones on the side, the bigger ones in the front, I don't know. And you want to do it one on the back and then we're just going to use some Mod Podge the gloss Mod Podge and we're going to put it all over here by the Christmas trees and as well as the lip of the canvas here on the side not all the way laid down just enough that the blends into the side of the reef and we're going to let that dry overnight Okay, so I just wanted to show you, and I just think it looked so cute with the little trees all the way around and the snow. Now we're gonna, I'm just going to flip it upside down. All right, guys, so now that I have it upside down, so the camera is up upside down, the trees you can see. So on the bottom part, I want to put the lights that are on the top, and this is the back of the top because I want to put the lights on. Now, there's different ways you can do it. In the little part that the little, I guess, the inner part of the top ring on top, I'm going to just use a battery operated one. Only reason is I'm all out of the fairy lights. These are fairy lights, but they have the bigger pack on them. So I am able to stick this part inside the lip of the top ring. What you're going to want to do, I'm going to start with the wire here. When you take the wire, I am just gonna hot glue it all the way around the circular of the upper part and just glue it all the way around. All right, now that I glued the tea lights all the way around, I just made sure the wire was really flat so you can see some of the glue spots there. So the next thing I'm gonna do, and that's just me, um, not that you'll be looking up on top, but I am just gonna add some more faux snow on there just add some mod podge and just kind of hide all the little glue spots that I have around the top of it all right now that I flipped it over you have the wire coming over here <clears throat> now you could also drill a hole um, sometimes I usually do my drill bit and drill a hole but I just went around the side the wire is small enough that you can put over I did just do it a little bit I should have put it a little bit more but that's okay I'm just going to glue it over top here and leave it loose like that for now and I'm gonna do the iridescent um from Dollar Tree the reindeers is what I wanted to use today and that's all I could find but it was worked out perfect now <clears throat> excuse me um, I did find a big strand of this iridescent um, garland from Dollarama. Um, just because it's closer to Christmas, my DT seems to be, <clears throat> excuse, out, excuse me, sold out of a lot of stuff. So I'm going to decide to use this garland. Now you can put Christmas balls all around the bottom if you want. Um, that's really up to you. I just cut a little piece here. What I'm going to do is start on the base. And I'm just going to show you on the top one here. And I'm going to glue it just on the sides really tight with some hot glue 
all the way around. I'm going to do the top and the bottom. We are going to come back and do something with the top after, but I am going to put two pieces around the top and the bottom of the carousel. All right, now that I have it all glued around, I didn't bother gluing the battery pack down. I'm just gonna leave it loose on one side. Now DT, I'm not sure if they carry these. Um, it's just a big long ornament. I just stuck a little, uh, I think I got these. I used them for the bottom of my Chanel light up tray. I don't even know what these are called. I think they're called doll pegs. It's just a little piece of wood. I put some glitter, but it was already coming off and it's gonna be concealed anyways. But I just wanted something more pointy on top, just as a lot of the carousels, if you see, they all have a point on top. I'm gonna put it here. So it's gonna conceal a little bit of the bottom one, which I'm fine with. I'm just gonna throw this on. So I'm gonna glue it right in the middle. And I'm just gonna grab some DT balls and I'm just gonna stick them around. I don't even think I'm gonna need to glue them, but I will because I just, but I'm just gonna throw them in there, guys. I'm just gonna try to conceal the bottom of the ball when you put them in. And just enough that it sticks up a bit over the garland. And I won't glue the ones that are gonna go near the battery pack as well. And you're just gonna have a nice look of the balls and the point facing up. I'm gonna get that done and then I'm gonna switch the camera around again and show you how we're gonna put the reindeers okay, on. Okay guys, so I finish, I glue them down. I just add little balls in between as you go around, all the way around. I think it turned out really well. Now we're gonna use the reindeers, the iridescent ones that are from Dollar Tree. I think they're super cute and it just adds with the shine inside the, the garland that just will make it really pretty. And we're just gonna put them on there. You're just gonna have to mark it where, you, sorry guys, holding the camera here, where you want it to have it. And I already put one on and I thought it turned out really cute. Now I'm just gonna glue the last one on and I'm just gonna put it on a Lazy Susan and show you. I am just because it's so white on the inside, I'm just gonna add a little bit, um, these little snowflakes from DT. And I think I'm just gonna, put four of them, one all the way around, just so it makes it pop a little bit more. Let me get the last reindeer on and I'll put it on the Lazy Susan and turn it all the way around for you guys. All right guys, I put it on the Lazy Susan, I added a bit of fur. I think it just turned out beautiful. I love the point on the top and I just love that. I was, actually, I didn't even think about putting it on the Lazy Susan, just to display it. Just as you go around. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is my last tutorial for 2022. That's a wrap. See you in the new year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate everybody that takes time to say a few words to me. I really do appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. See you soon. Bye.